Hello, we are back from the School of Languages. I am Lika Khalidova. Hi, I am Ochikan Chaul and this is our second video. Today we will talk about our hometown Rustavi. Do you know where Rustavi is? It is located 25 kilometers southeast of the capital Tbilisi. It is a small city with a population of only 125,000 people. Although Rustavi is 70 years old, it has a centennial history. The city is divided by the river Tkvari into old and new Rustavi. There is a big difference between these two parts of the city. Old Rustavi has four to five story buildings and it has the main sites. While in New Rustavi there are multi-story houses and big supermarkets. I think one day we'll be comfortable enough to walk around the city and visit all the sites. The place we are standing now is the main square where we celebrate Rustakalakoba, New Year's and Independence Days. On the right you can see the city hall. Here the Rustavi municipality city and council work to make laws. They meet the citizens and help them to talk, solve the problems. Lika. Nearby in several meters, there is the Rustavi Sietja. Let's go and see it. The Rustavi Sietja, which is the cultural center of the city, it's open since 1967. Now I will talk about Rustavi Metallurgical Factory. This plant is one of the biggest in the Caucasus region and is very important for my country's economy. The plant was founded in 1948 and it was the first factory in the Caucasus that produced iron and different silk constructions. It closed after a long economic collapse in 1999. But we opened in 2006. These days, the new owners of the Rustavi Metallurgical Plant try to restore a factory and develop regional and global markets. Now a factory is not fully loaded, but it still produces pipes, different steel constructions, mechanical details, and export them in the European Union, United States, Middle East, and also in neighboring countries. If you visit Rustavi, don't forget to visit Rustavi Metallurgical Plant. about the Rustavi Museum of History that shows the development of the city quite well. It is located in an old part of the city at Mshenebelta Street 17. It was established in 1950 by a famous archaeologist Gogelom Tatize. The museum mainly preserves the objects discovered in archaeological expeditions in Rustavi and historic Kucheti, today's Gardabani region and represents the period from the 19th century BC to the 18th century AD. Here you can see vessels made of clay, faience and glass, weapons and tools, bronze, silver and gold and jewelry, numismatic and ethnographic collections, and modern works of art. The museum is open every day except Monday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Visitors can choose a tour in English and Russian languages too. Visit this place and you will learn a lot about my town. Museum is open every day, except Monday, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Visitors can choose a tour in English and Russian languages too. Visit this place and you will learn a lot about my town.
if you want to have a rest, the park of Rostavi is the best place. It is located in the center of the city. If you ask the citizens of Rostavi to recommend you a place for spending your weekend, they will tell you that you should go to this park and I agree. It is the best place to relax with the family and friends. There are basketball and volleyball courts, a football pitch, a skate park, running and cycling tracks. You can have a picnic or celebrate your birthday there. The park is very beautiful at night because the trees are decorated with the colorful lights. You can also visit the amphitheater where the open air concerts and cinema days are organized. Nearby the park, there are ruins of an old fortress, which was built in 5th 8th centuries. Rusai Fortress is an old town, which was discovered by archaeological excavations, and it is in the list of cultural heritage of Georgia. Did you know it is the only fortress in Georgia where you can see frescoes? That's all for today. See you next month. Goodbye! Goodbye.